Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bookworms Podcast. On today's episode, my friend Gladinta and I are going to be critiquing a short story that we have both read. The exciting book that we will be talking about today is The Teapot by Hans Christian Andersen. This book is quite old, being published in the 1800s. Oh yeah, for your guys' information, this book has the category of like the fable genre because, you know, it teaches us moral of the story and stuff like that. Okay, so before we get into our opinions of this book, we would like to give you guys a short summary of what this book is about. So this book opens with an introduction to the main character, which is the teapot. Even from the beginning, we see that this teapot is very arrogant, boasting its beautiful sprout. But when a clumsy hand dropped it, the teapot broke and was thrown away. Later then, it was given away and used as a flower pot. Only then did it realize how meaningful life could be when it was useful. Sadly, it was thrown away again because how broken it was. Though it ended with the teapot being grateful that till the end it had been useful. So now that we've gotten the summary of the book out of the way, we can finally get into our critiques, starting with our personal opinions on this book. How about you start with your opinion? Okay, not gonna lie, even though the teapot was arrogant at first, throughout the story I start to feel a bit sorry for this teapot. The reason for that is because though it was one be- once beautiful, the second it fell and broke. People immediately jeered and it threw it away, stating as though just because it had flaws it was useless. Yeah, honestly, it is kinda sad. Well, from myself personally, I like this story especially because of the end. Um, Because though the teapot was arrogant at first, in the end we can see that it enjoyed being used again and that it cherished that feeling, though thrown away again at the end, which is kind of sad. Okay, so now to make this podcast a bit more interesting, let's bring out some questions for us to answer that are related to how we feel about this story. We have prepared about six questions, and the first one is, did you like this story plus its reasoning? Okay, so personally, of course, it wasn't a bad story. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, Though sure, it had a great morale, which is that we shouldn't take the things, especially things that have been blessed by God, for granted and not be arrogant, something that we should start applying in our daily lives. How about you, Clarita? Yeah, I didn't like this story, even if it was a little sad. This is a story that is relatable to this time, where some people constantly try to find the smallest flaw in us and shove it in our face. Yeah, that is true, especially in these times. Not only that, but I also enjoyed how this story was written. There isn't a particular reason why, but it's probably because the story didn't exaggerate much. Very true. Well, shall we move on to the next question? Yes. So, the next question is, which part of the story do you like the most, and why? Well, for me, I enjoy the beginning, because that's when the teapot got some karma for being so arrogant. It prided itself for having such a beautiful sprout, but right after it fell and broke off. That was kind of satisfying, though what came after was sad. Yeah, it is kind of funny and sad. Okay, so for me, I like the end the best because we get to see the character development by the teapot. Even though it was thrown out again in the end, sadly, it relished the feeling that it was used before for a good cause, aka being a pot to a flower. That was touching and, of course, also sad. At the same time, this was also a part of the story that I disliked the most because I wish that they would have just kept the teapot, showing that broken things aren't always useless. Rather, they can be used for other things, and while broken, they're still beautiful. Oh, that's sweet. How about you, Clarinta? Which part of the story did you dislike the most? I actually don't have anything that I dislike from the story. Even the sad ending? Yeah, I like sad endings, except if the ending is quite sad, like when my favorite character dies. No. Mm, no, 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 no. That I really, really hate when that happens. Okay, so moving on to the next question. What is the strength of this story and why? Personally, I feel like the strength of the story lies in the structure of the story. Thomas Anderson wrote this story a very poetic way, but not so that someone whose first language is in English would not understand. I agree. Next question. What is the weakness of the story? Hmm. This is a tough one. Do you want it to go first, Ida? Sure. 
From myself, I feel like the weakness was that it was too short. The story had so much more potential to grow, but the author just kept it short, just like cut it. And like, I was like, what, why would you do that? Well, yeah, that's all for me. I see, okay. For me, I don't actually see any weakness. The whole story was written beautifully, including the morals. Yeah, the morals are really good. Okay, now moving on to our last question, which is, all narrative text teaches, teaches us a lesson. What did you learn from this one? One thing that I learned is that we shouldn't take God's blessings for granted, because those blessings could be taken away from us in a split second. So instead, we should enjoy them, and of course, don't brag and be a brat about them. How about you, Clarinta? I learned that we should not belittle someone just because they have flaws. Because in the end, everybody is human and we all have flaws. So we should all just live peacefully and not judge and mock others. So yeah, overall this story was a good one. That's saying a lot because I can be quite picky with like what I read or what I enjoy in books. I just really like the ending, like I have said before. Uh, it shows great character development from the teapot. Me too. I like this book a lot. The writer really captured how someone would feel if they were thrown away because of their flaws. It's a beautiful story. <laughs> so, because of this reason, it's a no-brainer that I would recommend this to you all. Of course, me too. You guys should all try and read this book. You can probably find the hard copy and even the soft copy if you try, you know, searching it on Google. Yeah, but if we were talking about recommending it to friends, I don't think they would enjoy it. The story is short, therefore I don't really recommend it to my friends. Yeah, I don't think my friends, well, our friends actually, because, yeah. you know, <laughs> we're in the same circle. <laughs> I don't really think that they would enjoy it as much as I did or much as we did, especially because most of my friends don't like reading in the first place. Okay, so now that we have discussed all that we need from this story, our personal opinions, and some, of course, interesting questions, I think it's a good time that we end this podcast. So to all our listeners, thank you for tuning in to the Bookworms podcast, and see you next time. Bye! Bye.